So today we will read from Sri Sri Vilapa Kusumanjali, verse 35. Oh, Krishna Dari, slender girl, your waist is so thin that I am very much afraid that it will break when I bind it with a new golden string shining with tassels at both ends. O oh, Krishodari, slender girl, Your waist is so thin that I am very much afraid that it will break when I bind it with the new golden string shining with tassels at both ends. In the previous verse, Shiragunata hung the Shyamantaka jewel around Swamini's neck. And when this vision disappears, he laments. When will you give me your personal service? Suddenly, the vision of his devotional service returns. And after hanging the Shyamantaka jewel, he sees himself hanging a golden sash around Swamini's waist with tassels on both ends. Ai Krishodari, slender girl, when will I very fearfully hang this string around your waist? Afraid that your waist will break. I will hang this string around it just to bind it up. Seeing how thin Srimati's waist is, Tulasi is afraid that it will break. Radhe. Maybe we can stop just a little bit here because I wanted to put, <clears throat> point out one special emotion which appears in the heart of Raghunath. We all know that Raghunath have has a strong love for Shiradika. This kind of love is completely selfless and pure. Raghunath, like very intimate maidservant of Shimati Radharani, feels all feelings which Radhika has in her heart. Because this strong bound between Swamini and her Radhika is established 
to selfless love. And like a result of this love, Tulsi Manjari is so attached to Shimati Radhika that she cannot imagine one second of life without Shimati Radharani. And because of that love, Tulasi experiences all Radhika's motions, but also she has her own emotions. And we can see here from the, just these few lines how one emotion specifically appears. Maybe you notice by listening or reading that Raghunath is very afraid. He's afraid that something will happen to Shimatarani. He is afraid that her waist, which is very thin, will break. So we can see that in love, the fear is also present. But this fear is result of love. This fear is selfless, also selfless fear. It's not fear for myself. What will happen to me? No, this fear is a fear for my beloved Swamini. And this fear helps devotee in a very subtle way to relish his loving relationship with Swamini. Maybe it can sound a little bit strange how fear can help devotee to relish more love. But in the kingdom of love, in the kingdom of emotions, fear has specific position and stimulates love to be more and more and more intense. I will give you an example. Mother Yashoda is sometimes very fearful when she sees how her Gopal is doing some wrong things which can hurt him. And she is chastising him for his benefit to protect him, but also this fear helps her to nourish more intensely motherly love. We have to be sensitive, to understand and to feel the love in different relationships. I took Vatsalya Rasa purposely because sometimes it's more easy. But the same fear appears also in the Kinkaris. I'm afraid. I'm very much afraid that something happened to my beloved Swamini. In this case, in these words, that her waist will broken. This fear is also part of rasa. It's not primary rasa, like Sakya, Vatsalya, Madhurya, but this is the secondary rasa. And we know, some devotees know there is seven different kinds of secondary 
rasas. And this fear is this secondary rasa, which helps that main rasa becomes more and more nourished and intense. So Srila Prabhupada is very nicely explaining in Bhakti Rasamrita, his commentary of Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu about this. And he is mentioning that actually the main point is a pure love in specific relationship, in specific staibhav. In this case of Raghunath, we have love for Swamini in his staibhav of Manjari. This is the main relationship and we can say main rasa. But different waves of emotions which are coming in this exchange of relationships, like a fear, for example, in this case, I don't want to go on another level, <clears throat> is helping Tulasi Manjari to be more careful in her seva, to be more concerned about her seva, and this secondary feeling, secondary rasa, Vyabhicharibha, <clears throat> is helping him to intensify his love for his beloved Radhika. And we have to feel it. How fear for beloved can intensify our fear, our love, more and more and more. Then we can enter in the relishing, deeper relishing of rasa and relationship between, in this case, between Manjari and Radhika. It's not something which can be understood intellectually. We should feel in the heart how fear for Radhika intensifies Manjari's bhava, Manjari's love for Srimati Radharani. And this is not negative fear. This kind of fear helps for to to love more. And this is the quality of pure transcendental love. In materialistic love, it's not possible. Fear can ruin a relationship, to damage relationship, to decrease the love. But in spiritual kingdom, specifically in Raja, where the pure love is topmost, fear is like a spice, is helping devotee to intensify his love for his Ishtadev. So I just wanted to say, this maybe someone wants to add more, but the point is that when we are listening all these beautiful verses and specifically commentaries, we have to be careful of listening and reading and trying to go deeply because everything is written in these words and commentaries but we have to learn how to relish it, not to learn by mind, by the intelligent and intellect. No, how to relish it, because in that way, Radhika will be more close to us, and specifically her dasis, 
will be more close to us because we will feel them. And in these words, Raghunath is describing inner, hidden treasure of his heart, his love for Radhika and his concern for Radharani and his desire to make expert seva according to her desire. I hope that it was somehow clear. <laughs> Maybe Jainandaji or someone else, please devotees, be free to share something up to this point. <laughs> or we can continue how you like it. So, this is the other day, I think Guru Devi explained how anger coming from love, like uh, Sneha, and then Mana is appear, then Pranaya. So, we also experience sometimes wife and husband. We sometimes become angry. Why is that? Because some love and you want to increase more, and then we need some angerness. Here, Goranga Sandapa say, here, usually. Anger, fear is very bad material quality. But also, this in spiritual quality, if we can use and the love may increase. This is actually amazing. In material life, we, 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 we have fear so many ways, you know, about money, about work, about family, about relationship. So many things we, 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 are, we have tendency to fear. Or I may lose relationship, or I may lose money, I may lose, you know, work, whatever. And this Raghunata is, is serving Swamini. And then just to, uh, just to bind uh, that uh, sash, uh, this, uh, no, tassel, golden string shining with a tassel at both ends. And just seeing Swamini's waist is so thin. Oh my God. I may, I may broke, I may broke Swamini's waist. Because sometimes servant may some, some fear. Can I do myself properly? Or can I hurt? During my seva, sometimes we do massaging to Guru Dev or, you know, and then, oh, maybe my hand may be too hard or maybe too strong or may I, I may Guru Dev hurt. That kind of fear. So this is uh, Manjari feeling this kind of fear. So Manjari is so sensitive, so tender, so humble. This is a really amazing Goranga Sandra Pad's you know, explanation about fear. 
with fear also the symptom of love, especially in this month. So just I want to say like this. Seeing how thin Srimati's waist is, Tulasi is afraid that it will break. The Mahajanas sing. Her waist is more thin than that of a lion and it can be held even with a fist. One can never serve God with love unless one knows the desires on his mind. We must get some impulse from him, therefore. On the strength of his loving devotion, the curtain of God's mind will open for the devotee, and he can see what is the Lord's desire. How glorious then are the Kinkaris who are dedicated to the service of the full Madana Mahabhav, supreme love personified, Srimati Radha, who keeps even Krishna under her control. Please, we can stop also a little bit here. Because Baba is explaining how it's important to know desires of beloved Ishtadev. Otherwise, it's not proper. It's not possible to expertly serve Ishtadev. So to know desires of Radhika, we need strong, established relationship with her dasis who already knows the Radhika's heart, Radhika's mind, Radhika's desire, and through their feelings of her dasis, slowly but surely we can learn, we can feel how to become expert. Because in the heart of Radhika's Manjaris, Radhika is already established in the heart, not in the mind, not in the in intellect, but in the heart. And whatever is in Radhika's heart is infusing in Manjaris' heart. But also whatever is in Manjaris' heart is infusing in Radhika's heart. This is love exchange. And when we are very close to Radhika's servants, if we are so fortunate that we got this kind of Sangha association, then slowly but surely their emotions, their expertise will be infused in our heart.
there is in some words in Vilapa Kusumanjali. Baba is written is writing that there are three grounds, base of pure love, prema. First ground, as I remember, please correct me, is to always make Ishtadev happy. This is the first ground base. Second base is all desires which appears in the heart of devotees, all desires are for the benefit of Ishtadev. And third ground, oh no, the third ground is, if my beloved is happy, I am happy. But if he is not happy, I am not happy. So these three grounds, th three basics, are the basis of prema. Pure love and pure devotional service. With that mentality, and only with that mentality, devotee can know the heart of Ishtadev. With that kind of heart, that kind of feelings, he will be able to enter in the heart in our case, of our beloved Shimati Radharani, with the guidance of those who already knows Radhika's heart. So first thing is whatever I do, it should be for the pleasure of Shimate Radharani. All my desires has to be concentrating on her pleasure. And this is Uttama Bhakti. Pure Bhakti. For conditioned soul, it's not easy to step on that level. But Nitai principle, Gora principle, Guru principle, we help sincere disciple to overcome ego and come in the position of closeness to Radhika's maid servant. And in that position of closeness, transmission of emotions will go without any interruption and blockages. This is what we want and this is on what we depend. We cannot do it alone. Daddy, daddy. Many things can be said about this. <laughs> Krishna himself worships Prema, divine love. Therefore, he is also subdued by Sri Radhika's maid servant. That is their full pride and glory. Come 
someone wants to comment something? The full pride and glory of Radhika's servant, maid servant, is that actually Krishna is worshipping them. And why Krishna is worshipping them? Because he is worshipping embodiment of Prema. So immediately, he has to worship, he is forced to do it, to worship the servants, maid servants of Prema. And as he is subdued to the embodiment of Prema, Jai Shirade, he is also must be subdued to the Radhika's maid servants. And this is the pride and glory of Manjari Bhav. Pride. <laughs> pride. Usually we see that pride is very dangerous in the life. But we can see that it's very positive. <laughs> and it's helping. This kind of pride helps Manjaris to serve better, to inspire Radhika and her beloved, because they are not pride on themselves. They are pride, full proud in their heart is arising because they love Radhika. They are proud on Shimati Radharani and how her lover is always running after her. This is their proudness. I like to see him, how he is running after my beloved Swami. I am proud to see him, how he fainted because of love of my Swami. I like to see him, how he is dancing because of love for my Swami. I'm proud, I'm proud, I'm very, very much proud on my Swamini. And I cannot stop to glorify her because I'm proud on her. So this is the mood of Manjari. And we have to be very sensitive to understand that behind this proudness, is a humility. Because the love brings humility, natural humbleness, and also brings natural proudness. This is the glories of Manjari Bhav. That is. Krishna became Gora to taste the love that Radhika feels for him. And after he had experienced that, he also wanted to taste the nectar of the King Kari's service. While he relished the mood of the Mancharis, the Lord's body became formed like a turtle, or sometimes his limbs would loosen and stretch out. Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita describes Mahaprabhu's mad words after he came out of his kurmakriti, turtle form, 
and Galila chapter 14. Today I went to Govardhana Hill. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said to see if Krishna was tending his cows there. Climbing on Govardhana Hill, Krishna played his flute surrounded by the cows. Hearing the flute song, Srimati Radha came there. Oh, Saki, I cannot describe her form and mood. Krishna took Radhika by the hand and entered a cave with her. While the Sakis told me to pick some flowers. For the service of Shishirada Mohana, the Sakis are asking the Kinkaris to pick flowers. Here it is clear that Mahaprabhu finally came to relish the mood of the spiritual maid servant Manjaris in the pinnacle of his ecstatic absorption. And when Mahaprabhu almost drowned of ecstasy in the ocean, Antialila 18, and all the joints of his bones became disconnected out of ecstasy, he told his devotees in half external consciousness. Seeing the Yamuna River, I went to Rindavan where I saw the Prince of Raja, Krishna, playing in the water with Shiradika and the gold pieces, having great fun. I stayed on the shore with the other Sakis, while one Saki showed this pastime to the others. Here again, Mahaprabhu explains that he did not play an active role in these Krishna's pastimes, but that he or she was relishing a service position like that of the Manjaris. Witnessing these sweet pastimes without taking active part in them. Chaitanya Charitamrita then said, Whatever he himself came to relish, he taught to his devotees. Since, as is shown above, he did relish Manjari Bhav, he was the one who thought it to the devotees also, notably through Srila Rupa and Srila Raghunath Goswami. One can never understand the flavors of Raja while remaining in a mundane consciousness. And the devotees who take shelter of Sriman Mahaprabhu's lotus feet are the suitable candidate for relishing these flavors.
to relish the sweetness of the love in Raja, one must give up the attitude of awe and reverence towards God. Vrindavana is the kingdom of sweetness and the Upasana, the subject of worship and meditation, Upasana of Raja, Rasa, is a sweet Upasana in which we want to see Krishna as the Lokika Sadbandhu, a good worldly friend. I didn't want to interrupt during these readings because I want that everyone relish this appearance of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu like a king curry. I would like to ask my god brothers and sisters to say something. Goravani, you are giving Chaitanya Charitamrita, you are drowning in this ocean of Chaitanya. Gora Lila, very much. Please be merciful and share us something if you feel it. I see that you have open mic, but it doesn't work? No? Okay. Now? Can you yeah. hear now? Yes, first class. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Actually, I just wanted to say that I, I always, uh, I, I already drum by your readings and uh, sharing. So today it's another ocean. So I just want to hear and flow, if you allow me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ask me, I answered you. No. <laughs> Please give us just one way from your heart. I just feel that sometimes we wonder. Where in Chaitanya Charita Amrita actually is our Manjri path? Actually, the pinnacle of Chaitanya Charita Amrita is Manjri path. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu actually is showing this. He's even showing that his body cannot Take this mandri bath. These feelings are so intense that his so-called male body, of course we know it's Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, <laughs> but he is playing this role that he has a male body. So he's also playing perfectly that a male body can never ever take these feelings of Manjari Bhav. Not even the feelings of Radharani alone, which is already impossible, even Krishna himself cannot. He's falling in a swoon when Radharani is showing Madan, Madanakya Mahabhav. What to speak 
of Mandri bath, which is even more intense and only in the body of a servant, which consists of this serving Mu, what actually is the body of a Mandri or Kinkari, only in that body we can actually take these feelings and digest. You may say understand, but it's not a question of the mind. It's a question you need the right body fit for these feelings, actually. And this is in connection what we hear before in the beginning, that all these feelings, they are connected with this Bahavadeha, and that's why they are not material. So if there's fear, if there is anger, if there is anything else, it is connected to this Bhavadeya, it's on the base of this Bhavadeya, otherwise you could not not feel it. So it's very hard to understand it in our material consciousness, it's not not possible. So it's very hard to understand it if you try to understand it from the bodily consciousness. That's why we have to go into our Sita Deya to understand these feelings, actually. Let's say understand, to, to get it, to feel it, to digest it. So it's not so easy. That's why great souls like Goranga Sundara are giving just a little hint. When they feel it, they just try to make a bridge, give a little hint how we can go inside. So, actually, I think I said something as you like. So, so I quit. Jai Shri Rati. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's so it was so enlightened. I hope that many devotees understood and felt with when we say understanding, we actually think understanding in the heart. And this kind of understanding we cannot separate from feeling. It's just materialistic words can sound a little bit strange, but when devotees say I understand, it means I feel in the heart. We cannot separate these two words or two sensations. It's just a feeling, and because I feel it, I understand. It's not opposite. Because I feel it, I understand. <laughs> Thank you very much. Janandaji, are you inspired? Please help us. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how many years ago, maybe four or five years ago, in Brindavan, we are asking Gurudev, uh, we are discussing, where oh, yeah, Manjari Baba we could find out. And then we start checking, checking out. And then Amazing, you know, due to Vaishnava associations, <laughs> slowly, slowly, many things are coming out. This Anantada Baba uh, telling us this is uh, uh, Ancharira, 14th and uh, 18th. So this bus. So Mahaprabhu is completely mad, you know? or sometimes dreaming, drowning in the ocean sometimes, <laughs> drowning, drowning, anyway, in the, in the Prema or Mahababa. So here, 14th chapter, Saki asking Kinkari to pick up flowers. So we see uh, uh, 
sometimes uh, Ashtakaya leader and uh, or many leader Saki asking or sometimes Dupa Gosami asking to the Manjari let us go pick up flowers and because uh, this flower using the seba. And this another 18th chapter. This is uh, Mahaprabhu was uh, in Yamuna, Ladika and Gopis and uh, Krishna is enjoying in, in Jamuna River. This, but the, this Mahaprabhu was staying on the shore in like Radha Kunda also. Radha Kunda noontime pastime, Gopi and Radha, Radhika in the Radha Kunda water. But Manjari, Manjari does not want to enter. Why is that? Because Manjari want to see her. Also Manjari want to be ready to serve our Swamini. Because if she coming out from the water, who can serve Radhika? <laughs> so somebody has to wait on the shore and be, you know, to prepare new clothes or, you know, tirak or mask, kunkuma, <laughs> and uh, many, many items. So this, this is Anandas Baba point out very clearly. And uh, the other day, Gorabani Babu and others leading Chaitanya Charitamita Madhalira, Eight, eight chapter and Ramandaya and Mahaprabhu conversation. And from beginning, I was thinking, oh, Ramandaya, Ramandaya is Saki. It is a Vishaka Saki. Oh, Vishaka Saki is talking with Radharani. But amazingly, in Chaitanya Charitamita, Prabhupada translates Gopi. But actually, in, in Sanskrit, they say Saki. And also, if we read this Saki, actually, Manjari. So that's really amazing why amazing because in chaitanya charitamrita so much this manjari baba kintari baba is inside in chaitanya charitamrita but uh, we are so new right <laughs> so we 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 could not catch but we, we could not uh, find out or could not enter that, that conversation's <laughs> contents. And the, by the mercy of Guru Dev and Guru Goranga and our Swamini, so slowly, slowly, by the association of Rashika Vaishnava, 
So we could find out oh, how Mahaprabhu relishing Radharani's mood. And then after that, he want to taste the Manjari Baba. And he want to distribute through his very intimate servants, like a Rupa Raghunata. This is, I'm just tasting after hearing, you know, our Lhasa is beautiful, you know, leading and the Goranga Sundara Prabhu's beautiful explanation. I think this this verse is very important for, for us who want to practice uh, in, in Manjari Baba. Also, we could feel how Mahaprabhu tasting Manjari Baba in also Chaitanya Lira, Chaitanya Charita Radhe Radhe. <coughs> Thank you very much. I just want to ask you, and I just want to check something. If I really don't understand properly, in this final conversation with Ramananda Rai, when he was speaking about Prema Vilasa Vivarta, does it mean that these words Chaitanya Mahaprabhu relished in Manjari Bhav? And because he was relishing in Manjari Bhav, he helped Ramananda Roy also to relish Manjari Bhava, although he is. Sorry. <laughs> this is a very <laughs> deep subject. This For me, deep. it's very deep also. I just Thank want to share with my god brothers. Okay, I want to, be, you know, I, want to I want to share also <laughs> between god brother and sisters. Actually, god sisters. <laughs> so actually, Prema, Bi, Prema Birasa Bibarta. Actually, Radharani is, you know, we are thinking Radha is enjoying or Moha is enjoying. But who is most enjoying or most seeing? I think that is Manjari. Because, because already Radhika or even Mohan, the completely <coughs> vivarta, completely illusion, one sense. Good sense is illusion. Because we don't, you know, but they, they does not know who am I. <laughs> Radhika thinking, oh, I'm Krishna. Krishna thinking, oh, I'm Radha. But in this process, Manjari could see, could recognize what's going on. Because Radha and Mohan, they are completely mad. They may taste it, but they don't know what's going on, honestly. But Manjari's case is a little different. Because Manjari is a seer. Manjari could understand both feelings. Radhika's feeling at first, also Radhika's Mohan's feeling. Because, because Radhika knows Mohan's feeling. So therefore, Manjari could see both feelings. And then Manjari is completely amazed. Oh my God, what's going on? What is Madanakya Mahabharata? <laughs> this is, it, this, it is actually, I'm feeling this, this kind of Madanakya Mahabharata. 
Who can understand, who can feel Madanake Mahababa? This is the highest Mahababa. And also it is a Madanake Mahababa. Separation and meeting together is happening. That's, I don't, honestly, I don't understand, you know. But uh, this Prema Viras Vivarta, my feeling is this, this, this Manjari could taste, Manjari is seeing. That's Goranga Sundara Babu inspired me. I don't know what I'm talking. Maybe I'm completely wrong. I don't know what I'm asking. <laughs> but yeah. I can I can feel from your sweet words actually and explanations that in that moment when Ramananda Rai explained this Vilasa Vivarta, Prem Vilas Vivarta, how Radhika exchanged a role with Krishna, Krishna exchanged a role. Only Manjari can see it. And Goranga was present there and he, he was looking. He was not Radhikant, he was not a Krishna. Otherwise, who will see it? Only Manjari. And because of that, like a Manjari, he put the hand on the mouth of the Ramananda Roy. He says, stop, stop. Don't speak it. Because this is the most hidden, me like a manjari, I don't want to discover this top secret. It's too much. <laughs> it's too much. Yes, I don't want to discover openly. But he did it slowly and sensitively through Goswamis. And, uh, you know, we are discussing with uh, Lada Charam Prabhu. Yeah. So yesterday I asking you. Yes. So in in in, in this say uh, even Saki, even Purana Saki, this Purana Saki means Radhika, Bishaka, etc. They cannot understand Radhika's real feeling. Then question is coming. In Chaitanya Ch Chaitanya Lira. Swarupa Damodara, who is Radhika Saki? It is the who is Radhika Saki? Or Raman Raya, who is Vishaka Saki? It is the many people say. They understand Mahaprabhu's feeling, Radhika's feeling. They can console Mahaprabhu. This is his question. <laughs> and they can console, like you said, but not completely. Yeah, also that's true. But also, they are in Chaitanya Lira, they are, they are, they are, they are feeling through Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Manjari Baba. Yes. So, and that's Ramananda Roy. Yes, that Ramananda and that's then Ramananda Roy. <laughs> then Ramananda tried to speak like this, and Mahaprabhu was, oh my God, uh, oh you are understanding my, you know, my feeling, you know, what are you talking about? Actually, why his name is Rama Nanda Roy? Rai is king, king of Rama Ananda. Wow. Why he is the king of Rama Ananda? Why? Wow. Because actually he is opening that. He is telling, hidden, a little bit hidden, but he is actually telling, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is using his mouth. Wow. And also, I want to say one thing. Vishaka Saki is born same time, same, <laughs> almost same place, you know. So, Radharani Vishaka Saki is very similar. Vishaka, Vishaka Saki knows 
Radha has had to cry to well. <laughs> so maybe this also coming. This also very nice explain. Rama Anandaraya. Rama means Radha Mohan's uh, loving pleasure. <laughs> This kind of, you know, this also prema vivarta vivarsa also, it could be meaning of Rama. And that's Ananda is so great. Oh my God. So Gorabani Babu is a real Gorabani. Thank you very much, Gorabani. Actually, you inspired me. You are talking through my mouth, that's all. Mm. No, 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 no. Um, if I say something, which you both inspire me now, is that why Ramananda's Roy, in the end of this conversation, say, I don't know what I was talking. Because it's not his natural stai bhav. He's <laughs> talking something wow. which is completely out of his stai bhav, and this is manjari bhav. Wow. And in that way, he received Manjari Bhav from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and said, Oh, my dear. And he said, Stop talking. <laughs> Thank you very much. Wow, I love you so much. This is only Sadhu Sangha. Dashkabai Sadhu Sangha. It is possible. Only myself, I cannot. Yes. You know. Wow. After so, 30 years, I understood something at least actually I, I i would like to underline when ramananda roy actually is telling this he's giving some example nicely when Prabhupada is using the word gopi he's using the word gopi as an a basic word also for sakis but Prabhupada is saying a gopi who helps Radharani and Krishna to come together is enjoying 10 million times more at Sasaki. And then he's explaining what are the duties of such Sakis. So in this conversation in whole Chaitanya Charit Amrita, it gets very clear because Ramananda Roy is pointing out actually that even Radharani sometimes is changing the rule and serving a Saki to come together with Krishna and then she has 10 million times more enjoyment of this happening. Mm. So what does that mean? That even Radharani sometimes wants to take the position of a mandri. Wow. We know that even Krishna, we know because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is there, but even Radharani wants sometimes this position because it's the most tasteful position. And this is the gift for us fallen Jivas, or at me, for me, I'm fallen Jiva. And in this age of Kali, wow. we all get this gift, which is the highest what we could get, actually. This is uh, very obvious. So, Ramandaya unknowingly, knowingly glorify Manjali Baba. That is that is my you know my feeling my conclusion. <laughs> I hope that for devotees it's not so complicated subject, but it was so sweet for relishing, and so many things were discovered and opened to even go deeper and deeper in this sublime gift which Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave to us. And whoever has some any questions about this subject matters because we were talking so enthusiastically and emotionally and it can be confused for someone. <laughs> Please ask 
Janandaji Goravani again to explain because we have to relish it, to turn this nectar, to turn this nectar. This is the reason why we have all these Zoom Sanghas, to turn the nectar. Yeah, Janandaji. And also, I don't have it, but uh, we have a Sai Baba of Manjari. We could see more perspective of Manjari Baba. Yes. I was amazing, you know, here, you know, Chaitanya Kurem Baba there. I'm talking with him. Oh my God, he's, he's Sai Baba. He's every word. He's seeing, you know, Manjari Baba, oh my God. I'm such a new fight, you know. I don't see it sometimes, you know. So. Anyway, so, sorry. This is, I think this is, if we, ha we are in Stai Baba, then we could do more Dedish, we can, we could more find out more clearly. That's uh, I'm feeling. Because if we properly understand to the utmost understanding, appearance of Goranga and Gora Lila, then we can understand to the utmost the Raj Lila, especially Lila between Radha and Krishna. And this feeling, these realizations and understanding will bring us again to the Goralila, to understand more Goralila, because we were listening so much about Manjari Baba. Now we can speak about Manjari Baba in the Goralila. Otherwise, it will be not possible. And because of Manjari Baba in Goralila, we can feel it. Exchange of love between Yugala Kishore from the position of Manjari. So this is so necessary, actually, to appreciate our Acharyas and to receive the mercy of Goranga. How we will know that we received complete mercy of Goranga? Not just drop. Okay, drop is enough. But complete mercy. If we can penetrate in his heart, in his deep. Oh, oh. So, sorry, I interrupt you. And also, we are leading the Anantas Baj Maharaj, topmost Rashka Baj Namas, uh, Radharas Dasdanidi, Birapax Manjari. Then, leading Chaitanya Charitamrita. Or Chaitanya Chaitanya leading, then we lead Radha Rasasdani in Virapaksma. This is amazing effect is happening. Because both leader is not separate. Actually, mutually so connected. Without Gora leader, we cannot understand deep meaning of Radha Mohan's leader. <laughs> so this is Gurudev's mercy, honestly. And also all Vaishnava, Rashka Vaishnava's mercy. Because if we lead alone, we cannot understand deeply. But the Guru Dev says, share, share, share. We don't know it's, it's, it's right or wrong. We don't know, but uh, many things coming out. <laughs> like uh, we are churning the ocean, milk ocean. There are many things coming. Sometimes poison comes, sometimes nectar coming. <laughs> and poison, Lord Shiva, drown and stay here. And good, I was completely amazed. Gurudev is so merciful. Gurudev said, surrender means give, give to your false ego to Gurudev. And Gurudev can drink 
Dio fue una bomba. Oh my God. This is completely amazing. And also due to association with Rashika Vaishnava, nectar is coming out. We have to keep the, this, this, this nectar. Also try to distribute it. My dears, I cannot stop. Rade, Rade. Yes. Uh, sorry, uh, just by churning the nectar all together like that, it's come to me actually that uh, Goralila is only link for Raj above in the mood of Manjari. Otherwise, it will not is not possible to come because before it not was uh, knowing uh, Manjari mood. So Manj uh, Gora Lila is only way actually to go inside. And also uh, during uh, the lecture, also it's come come to my mind, and I'm encouraged to share because you said that so much realization come in the heart um, when Krishna play his flute. Actually, this is the uh, his nostalgia, his separation from Radharani. So when he said that everybody is attracted by flute of Krishna in the material world and the spiritual world. Actually, everybody is are attracted by the sentiment which come in his heart only because of the presence of Radharani. So the float, the melody of float is actually Radharani also, her sentiment. <laughs> and uh, also when we was uh, uh, saying about spiritual body, that spiritual body have the proud, Actually, uh, if you can correct now, it is some kind of a question also for me. And that spiritual body, actually, whatever feeling we can feel from true spiritual body is every feeling is correct, is the perfect. Only in this material body, we should be careful to have the feelings who are more in goodness or similar things. If you are also experienced to say something about that, and also I want to ask Gauravani, when he said that uh, Radharani also wants to feel the feelings of uh, Manjari, and this this is also uh, full of nectar, even for Radharani, if just he can say something more about that. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> if it's possible, Gorani. Goranga Sunar, there was a question for you. In the <laughs> no, no. Gora Vani. Mahavani. His question for Mahavani. <laughs> but in the beginning, there was a question for you, isn't it? No, I don't remember. <laughs> So actually, what, what I can say about uh, Gauranga, they always say, Gauravani, they just want to make jokes with me. This is in the spiritual sky, it's always they are just making jokes all the time. So Radharani also wants to, to make, to have fun, and also wants to change sometimes the role with mantras. And in this moment, she's asking Krishna, please, please. Uh, give her some, make something good to her, give her, uh, how do you say, uh, reward. And then actually both of them, they have a lot of, uh, of fun. And Radharani can also use this occasion when she is actually giving uh, Saki the chance, actually a Saki who wants to sometimes take the role uh, to enjoy with Krishna. She also enjoys this when she is giving the Saki this position, actually. So also then she feels 10 million times more pleasure 
than if she is uniting herself with Krishna. So we can see that actually selflessness is the base of enjoyment in the spiritual world. So the more selfless, the more enjoyment. And this actually culminates in Madanakya Mahabhav when Radharani is losing herself out of selfishness because she's losing herself, her own understanding, her consciousness, just to please Krishna. And sometimes she also wants to lose herself to give the enjoyment to her manjaris. And then actually she has also the most bliss, the most enjoyment in that moment, actually. I don't know if this helps, but you can meditate on that because, as we say, we cannot understand it. We have to feel it, actually. So it's just a hint to go more deep in this meditation. The more selfless we are, the more selfless the situation is, the higher is Ananda. And this is actually the principle, the basic principle in the spiritual world, where in the material world it's vice versa. <laughs> At least the false ego thinks like that. <laughs> so there, there was another question. I actually, I, I think I lost to Goranga Sundara. I just can say that actually many questions, answers some questions, are just the hints. And each devotee has to go deep in the bhajan, like Gora Vani said, actually, to go deeper in this and to get his own revelations and answers. Sometimes we have to wait even for months, even for years, to get answers which can we understand, but also which we can feel and practice and relish. That this answer stuck like a magnet, stuck in our heart. And this is realization. Whatever question we have, whatever answer we receive, is just, just a hint to go deeper by our own, praying for mercy, that all depths will be revealed in our heart, completely depending, completely depending. If revelations are not coming, they are not coming. And if revelations are coming, wow, thank you. I am very grateful for that. But we have to be patient and passion for answers, but also patient. And like many times Gurudev is saying, go deeply in the bhajan and the answers will appear in your heart. So, thank you very, Diane DJ, for sharing this. Everyone would like to hear you more <laughs> for other subjects. Because we cannot explain everything. And we cannot understand everything. And this is our normal position. Yes? We are depending on Kripa. If, and if some drops of understanding is coming in the association of Rasik devotees, wow, this is such a gift, such a revelation. I'm so happy because I never was thinking about this relationship between Ramananda Roy and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu so deeply, but devotees. Help me 
And I'm trying to see it like Gurudev's mercy. He's speaking through their mouths in my heart. I never was thinking like this, honestly to say. Jayanandaji asked me yesterday this question, and I asked him half. But now I can, by his and Gauravani's mercy, I can understand actually how this deep relationship between Ramananda Roy and Goranga is present. So there is one question from Laba Galatica on Croatian language. When, uh, Rasama, you, you, uh, would you like to translate? Yes, uh, where can I find? I don't see in the chat. Your mother's question on Croatian. Last one. Chat. Maybe she sent to you? No, no. Okay, I can translate. Sorry. Okay. When someone... When someone asks us to show him where Goranga is in Manjari Bhav, what to answer, what your answer would be. So it's very clear. Here we already read it in Chaitanya Charitamrita Antya Lila 14 chapter. In Chaitanya Charitamita Antya Lila 18 chapter. It's very clearly said. We are talking one hour about that. And there is also one more additional. Chaitanya Charitamita Madhya Lila 14 chapter. Where Prabhupada very specifically is mentioning Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati's words and saying how Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took the mood of Radhika maidservant. 14th chapter. I don't want to say words. We have to research them. <laughs> Otherwise, sometimes devotees are asking, where did you find? In Chaitanya Charitamrita. Yeah, you have to find it. Put your own eagerness and endeavor. Otherwise, you will forget the number which I will say. Or Guru, there were other devotees. We are not automats, bankomats. Put two coins and answer is going out. Doesn't work like this. We have to find where to show to someone because it will help us for our realizations. So that's my answer. We already read this answer. Rade? Should we continue? Hmm. Of course, Srimati Radhika's ways will not break so soon. But out of great unadulterated love for her Swamini, Tulasi is afraid that it will. What does love seek? Only the happiness of its object. Only the lovers can make the beloved happy. The lovers think 
May you be happy. Chaitanya Charitamrita. The love of Raja is as pure as molten gold. And there is not even a whiff of personal of personal happiness there in the hearts of these devotees. In Sri Radhika's mood, Srimad Mahaprabhu sings, Krishna is my life. Krishna. Oh. Now Ra Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is changing the mood. He is relishing Radha Bhav. And the, from the angle of Radharani, he is talking these words. Rasamayu will read. From the angle, from the Bhava of Radha Bhava, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is talking these words. So when we are reading, we should feel from which Bhava he is speaking. Sometimes he is speaking from Krishna position. Sometimes he is speaking from Radha Bhava, and sometimes he is speaking from Manjari Bhava. We should penetrate deeply in these words of Acharyas. And Prabhupada's commentary also. Then, completely another universe will open to us. Otherwise, we will be always on the surface of Gora Lila and on the surface of Raja Lila. We need to put our heart from which angle he is speaking now, from position of Krishna, from position of Radhika, or position of Manjari. Or sometimes, he is speaking from the position of sannyas. It was just my interruption before these sweet words of Gora Mahaprabhu. Krishna is my life. Krishna is the treasure of my life. And Krishna is the life of my life. I keep him on my heart and I make him happy with my service. <laughs> Such a strong emotions. <laughs> and we have we should stop here. And again emphasizes what we said before. Okay. We should stop here and to emphasize what we talked before. When Radhika is speaking through the mouth of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he is Radharani now. He is completely Radharani. He is not Krishna. He is not Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He is Radhika. Krishna is my life. Manjari is not speaking like this. And Krishna specifically is not speaking like this. Krishna is my life. Krishna is treasure of my life. And Krishna is the life of my life. You understand? She wants to express 
she's trying to express her love, not Manjari. Radhika. And I keep him on my heart. And I make him happy with my service. And I always meditate on this. This is Radha Bhava, which is going throughout Mahaprabhu. He is Mahaprabhu. And there is one beautiful sentence of Prabhupada in Dantya Lila. Chaitanya Charitamrita, where Prabhupada said, pure devotee, never disturb consciousness of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that he is Radharani. Prabhupada wrote that. Pure devotee, real devotee who took the shelter of Goranga, never disturb the mood of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that he is Radharani. Now we disturb a little bit mood and say he is also Manjari. <laughs> but the point is, we should understand when the Radha Bhava completely pervades Goranga and his emotions and his heart and his words and his beha outside behavior. Krishna is my life. More Krishna Mora Jivana. Krishna Mora Pranadana. Krishna Mora Pranayara Parana. Krishna is not speaking to himself. Radhika is melting of love for him. And who is witnessing it? Krishna Das Kaviraj, who got realization from the Manjari point of view. Rasame, please. Um, can I say something? Just <clears throat> it was sticking to my mind. Why the waste of Radharani will not break so soon? So Goranga Sundara, maybe you can give the answer of this question. I really have to do it. Yes. I have no idea. But one thing is coming to me. Because, first of all, it's not possible. But she doesn't allow herself to break. Because Krishna will be set and her manjaris will be very sad. Although her breasts are so heavy and running towards Krishna, and her whips are also broad, she doesn't want to ruin her lavanya elegance. Tribanga Vilasini, Jaya Shirati. Everyone knows Tribanga Krishna, but very rare person knows Tribanga Vilasini because this Vilasini, these movements are so attractive for her lover. And this tiny waist is the base of her very nice lavanya for I said something maybe you can add or someone else Tribanga Vilasini is something everyone is charmed with Tribanga Krishna but Krishna it, Radhika is Tribanga Vilasini. She is chanting 
Tribanga Krishna. So her elegance is so smoothly and very nicely attracting Krishna's all senses. And this is one of her vilasa qualities, that her movements, gates are always elegant when she is running toward him. And this tiny waist giving her so beautiful form. And why to ruin? My lover will be disappointed. And my manjaris will be disappointed. Because they are very afraid of me. Right. Uh, Rasamai, can you finish this beautiful Goranga's words in the mood of Radha? And we can stop because it's too late. Many things, it will be overloaded. Mora Sukha Sevane, Krishna Sukha Sangame. My happiness lies in service. And his happiness lies in intimate pastimes. So I give my body to him. Krishna makes me his consort and tells me, you are the queen of my heart. But I just consider myself to be his maid servant. Ai Tanuja Kinkari. Ai Tanuja Kinkari. I'm the maid servant of this Tanuja Krishna, Prince of Rindavan. Ai. This is the mood of separation. Ai. This is female call. Like Harade. Ai Rade. And this is the proof that in these words of Shikshashtaka, Ai Tanuja Kinkari, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu completely melted in Radhaba. Because of Govinda Virahename. Because he feels such a strong separation for her lover. And he is embodiment of Virah Rasa. And through this separation, Krishna feels Radhika's emotions. And through this separation, he can become Radhika, not because of union. Separation brings such a strong emotions. That is the reason why he is saying, Ai! He is crying, actually. Please consider myself to your maidservant. And Kinkaris are addressing Radhika also. Please consider me your maidservant. And so on and so on. So, thank you very much, devotees. I hope that Radha Mohan will be satisfied at least a little bit with our 
clumsy endeavors. Our Gurudev will be pleased at least a little bit, despite of our mistakes, ignorance. And from the bottom of my heart, I want to thanks to Gauravani, Jayanandaji, and all of you who patiently, very patiently, and with full tolerance were listening. This beautiful kata which we have opportunity to listen from Raghunath and Ananta Daswabhaji. This is our only treasure. We don't have any other treasure. This is our treasure. And thank you that you are actually sharing your deep feelings, which maybe we could not understand or receive without your explanation and your merciful hints and your opening our hearts to receive more deep these topics. So thank you very much for this sharing, for your mercy, kindness and ignoring our ignorance actually. Thank you.